Hello, welcome to Ministry Moment of Power with me, Evangelist Dr. Ophelia Griggs. I pray that you had a great 4th of July. It was fun. You relaxed. There was a lot of laughter and a lot of love shown. Well, today I am going to talk about the word freedom. As I googled the word freedom, I came across this, de this definition. And it indicates that freedom is the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Exploring the word freedom a little further, I find in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary that freedom is defined as the quality or state of being free such as the absence of necessity, coercion, or constraint in choice or action. Let me go a little deeper and see what the word freedom is according to the Word of God. In the Old Testament book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1, and Isaiah declares that the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty, there's that word freedom, to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. So according to the words of Jesus Christ, in the New Testament book of John, John chapter 8, verse 36, Jesus is saying, If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. The difference with freedom as the world sees it versus how the Word of God instructs how freedom should be, and that is that there is limitations and a different mindset is what you should have when it comes to living a life of freedom. The English Standard Version Bible indicates in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 16, live as people who are free, not using your freedom as a cover up for evil, but living as servants of God. New International Version in chapter in Galatians chapter 5 verse 13 says you my brothers and sisters were called to be free but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh rather serve one another humbly in love first Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 but the Lord but take heed lest by any means this liberty, that word freedom, of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. Therefore, we as Christians have restrictions and constraints in our walk with God. We cannot and should not entertain doing as we like, but follow after Christ doing His will only. Remember, you have been bought with a price. According to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, it states, Who his own self, and this is talking about Jesus Christ, who him own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we are being dead to sins should live unto righteousness. Let me say that again. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 states who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto the righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed enjoy your freedom as servants of christ demonstrating love everywhere your feet trod the words of Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 22 verse 39, and this is a command, indicates, Thou shalt love thy neighbors as thyself. In other words, if you love yourself, 
you are free and would know how to love someone else. If you treat yourself with respect and dignity, you would know to do the same to someone else. If you care about yourself, you will care about others. You will care about what happens to them. You will care about what they're going through. You will pray for them. You will help them. You will see about them. You will check on them. You will call them up to see about them. I believe you get the picture of what I'm saying. I know you do. Well, I am going to end this message, but you brothers and sisters, keep serving Christ and Him only. Let not your freedom cause you to get caught up in something or some things that will bring shame upon you and a disgrace in the sight of God. I encourage you to serve God with a free spirit that free spirit that lives in you, chase not after that which seemingly, notice I said seemingly, appears to be good, inviting, and enchanting. Now notice if it's seemingly, then something mm, is missing there. Amen, amen. Until the next time, stay free, shun evil, be blessed, live for God, live your freedom out with freedom in the right way, the right manner, the way the Word of God instructs us to live out our freedom. Not causing harm, not causing hurt, not for selfish gain, not doing things that are, in, that are intended to bring about harm, but live a life of freedom in love.